obviously you're, you're seeing growth from enterprise customers, but you're losing consumers and small businesses. Let's start there. When, how, and where do you expect that to stabilize? So great to see you, Emily. Thank you. Um, as you mentioned, we're really pleased with the performance in the enterprise, which grew 27% year over year. You can talk about Zoom phone and the very strong performance there. But in our online segment of the business, as you mentioned, there certainly were some headwinds, a lot of it due to strength in the dollar as well as impact that we're seeing from the war in the Europe, but also just slower acquisition of new customers at the top of the funnel, which is having impact as people are moving around the world again and going out to happy hour with their friends rather than doing that over Zoom. And slowing sales growth among corporate customers, is that a sign of slowing corporate demand? Is that because of the, the macroeconomic issues we're seeing? So we had a very strong quarter from an enterprise perspective. Our overall bookings came in stronger than we expected and revenue at 27%. Now we are starting to see our enterprise sales cycles moving towards more normalized enterprise cycles, which meant they were a little bit more back end loaded in the quarter. That led to higher than expected deferred revenue, though, just a little bit less contribution to revenue in the quarter itself. But Zoom phone was very strong performance. We crossed over that 4 million seat mark in August, which we're excited to talk about. We had two record deals with seat size of greater than 125,000. And we're seeing strength in some of our new products, including Zoom Contact Center and Zoom IQ for Sales. Bigger picture, there's this narrative that the pendulum is swinging back to the office. Apple calling workers back to the office next month. Employees are pushing back, yes. Uh, but, you know, this is still the policy, at least as of now. I know Zoom did its own survey on hybrid work. Uh, you found that executives still want that hybrid work environment. How are you adding all of this up and trying to figure out how this will translate into demand? Yeah. So the great thing about Zoom technology is it enables work both at home and in the office, and they're both really important. So we see organizations recognizing that they need to maintain their Zoom licenses for their employees that are working at home, but also our technology like Zoom rooms, smart gallery, workplace reservations, allow them to then interact with those employees that are in the office in a very inclusive way. And so having the right technology in your conference room is becoming more and more important every single day. We've all become used to seeing everybody's face on a square. And so technology like Smart Gallery enables that even if you're the one like me, who I've moved out of the state of California, sitting in Texas, sees everybody that's in that room and feels really included in that conversation. And so we're excited about the prospects of hybrid work and Zoom technology is there to support it. So just about 30 seconds left, Kelly. What does the next year of growth look like to you? Where does most of that growth come from, quickly? So certainly it's going to come from our enterprise segment, and we are also focused on lots of new initiatives in the online segment that will drive it first to being flat, but eventually a growth driver as well.